Sharks, I'm Ramaza Ali. I'm Anas Ali, and we're from Austin, Texas. We're the wife and husband team behind Wedding. Today, like we're saving $300,000 in exchange for 5% of our company. Yeah, yeah. Sharks, when have you heard someone say, planning a wedding is so easy and so fun? Never. Never. Booking a wedding can be a huge hassle when dealing with multiple vendors, all with different contracts. But with Wadi, the world's first wedding marketplace, couples can bundle services to book their dream wedding. And the best part, there's only one contract and one price tag. Wadi truly is a one-stop shop for wedding planning. In fact, we're going to show you just how easy it is. Here we have a real bride and groom, <laughs> Look at Hannah this and John. And their maid of honor, Casey. Are they married yet? They are going to be today. No. Today. <laughs> right this now. beautiful couple. They got married on Shark Tank. wedding using the Wedding app. Hannah and John have picked an amazing wedding venue, the iconic set of Shark Tank. That's crazy. <laughs> As part of their all-inclusive wedding package, they have also booked a bartender, Angel from Salute Modern Vintage Bar. And their incredible forest, Kelsey from East They're Olivia Creative. <laughs> Fabulous job, you two. Thanks, my guy. I appreciate it. Well, wait, who's going to officiate your wedding, you guys? Let's go on the wedding app to find an officiant for your big day. Well, I think we need to do a quick search in the Los Angeles area, but uh, on, we man. have a wonderful choice right here in the room with us. Kevin, Good looking we guy. know <laughs> that you are ordained. We I would am. love to have you come up and get so Hannah and John married today for oh, real. Oh, my. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful, we well, do have a small script prepared for you today. Bringing a man and woman together is one of the most important things Mr. Wonderful does. Are you ready? <laughs> Sharks, you are about to witness the world's first short tank wedding. He looks more like an undertaker, I'm sorry. Dearly <laughs> beloved, we are gathered here today because Hannah and John have chosen to make the ultimate oh. investment into each other, and it is my great honor to pour gasoline on their passion. <laughs> Hannah, do you accept John's offer to be your husband? I do. John, do you accept Hannah's offer? I do. By the power invested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you business partners for life. You may now close the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Shorts, who's ready to take this journey down the aisle with us and like Hannah and John say I do. By the way, Kevin. We are back to another Shark Tank breakdown episode. I am your host, Dave, well, almost 10 year intellectual property attorney dealing with everything from patents to trademarks copyrights, trade secrets, you name it. That's in an IP space. I deal with it. Now I'm a little bit kind of befuddled or at a loss for words. It seems like, man, who would have thought Kevin, Mr. Wonderful was ordained to be able to officiate a wedding. Who would have ever thought that you would have seen a first actual wedding. Somebody get getting married or oh, shark tank, man. It seems like, uh, Hey, they raise our stakes higher and higher. So, the three things that I look for is how simple is the product, how effective, and what's the market size. Now, we know the market for weddings is through the roof. This is a big market. Now, it's interesting because on the flip side of it, uh, it seems like it can be cyc cyclical. If that makes sense, I go to the cigar lounge often, uh, kind of nearby to where I'm at, and it was a lady. She's a wedding planner. She has, no, I'm not sure if she's a wedding planner, but she at least sells the dresses and things like that, the, the clothing for a wedding. And during the kind of pandemic, it took a big hit. So it seems like, you know, much like, I don't want to compare it to a travel, but it seems like when kind of the money, depression, things like that, or recessions hit, people are not getting married during that time. They're pushing it off. So even though I think the market is huge for it, I think it can be up and down depending on what the economy is doing. But I guess we'll see how much money they are making. Uh, again, they really didn't talk about how the app works. So I'm not sure how i guess how simple it is and how effective i think the sharks will probably drill down more on that but the interesting thing i do want to talk about is you can get a patent on an app now it can't be just it has to be something that the app is doing 
that kind of takes it out of the realm of, okay, we're just scheduling and coordinating and things like that. But to the extent that you have something kind of details in the app to the fact that the app is actually you know, doing some stuff that takes it out of just kind of scheduling and planning, you can get a, a patent on the app. So a lot on the process of how, you know, the app is kind of going about its business. So a lot of people don't know that they think, okay, apps, yeah, whatever. And no, you can get patents on apps. So it just kind of depends on what the app is doing. And if it kind of crosses over into that from the scheduling planning territory to the, okay, this is patentable subject matter. So let's be on the lookout to see uh, whether or not they're doing that. It seems like Lori is typically the one who acts about patents, but let's see if one of the other sharks kind of picks up on whether or not this app is protected. And, uh, Let's get back to it, man. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. You just signed $600 as a wedding officiant on wedding. What? That's more than he's made in 15 years. <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, why don't you tell us about your business? So we are a wedding planning marketplace. That is and when a market did you start? We started in 2020. Okay. And uh, we've been in business for the last three years. And I'm just curious, are you the only ones that do this? We're the only ones that is a centralized booking platform for the wedding business. Traditional wedding directories are a pay to play model where wedding professionals have to list their business for up to $500 per month or more. Look, I, I'm in this space with Honey Fund. There's a consolidator out there called The Knot that's putting yeah. this together in the same way. Tell me how you're different and how you can actually get a bride to go to your platform instead of The Knot. Absolutely. So couples find us through organic SEO with localized listings. We have a lot of venue referrals and we're starting to get a lot of word of mouth. Are you regional or national? We, we're regional. We're regional. We operate in seven markets and we have over 1,200 vendors in our platform. And how do you get paid then? I'm assuming you get a percentage of it. Absolutely. How much do you get? We have a 24% take rate on every package sold. I would love to tell you a little bit about how the app works. So on the vendor side, here's what they do. Wedding professionals list their business and they go ahead and create different types of package tiers and their deliverables. So if you're a photographer, they would have a four hour package for $2,000 hmm. and a six hour package for $3,000. So what we do, our differentiators, like we take these data points, aggregate them and sell them as bundled packages. So yes. on the consumer side, couples enter their location, their budget and the services they're interested in. And we show them an all inclusive base package they can afford instead of themselves getting priced Got out it. of the market. So, so how's it going? So how's business going? Oh, it's going great. So tell us the numbers. Three years ago, we started sequentially launching our product in specific markets and have done 1.5 million in revenue. To date. Okay, that so is in three gross years, revenue 1. or net 5. revenue? Gross revenue. Okay, give us year by year revenue. Yeah, so in 2020, we launched our product prototype in one test market. Hard year. Uh, yes, for weddings. Yes. We made sure, $73,000 in the first year. And then 2021, we made $91,000 in that year. And then 2022, we launched our web app. This was the turning point. We grew four times and made $510,000 wow. that but, year. But that's gross sales. That yes. is correct. How much was your revenue out of that? Yeah. So we made 24% margin on that. What about this year? What are you going to make this year? Year to date, we've done $850,000. Oh, are you going to gonna hit a million this year? Yes. We're going to hit 1.2 million this year. So you'll make 240000 That is correct. correct. Yeah, but, they but that's, that's before their expenses. What, what their expenses revenue. do you have? Are you, are you spending marketing dollars against that? We spend about 8% of our revenue on advertising. Gross revenue. On that what else? Of do you gross spend revenue. On? So you spend a third of your net revenue on advertising. So what did uh, yes. you, out of the 240000 in net revenue you'll do this year? Or sixty. At what least will you or make on that? Get the most. Last year we made sixty thousand. This year we should be making on the same same uh, range. Um, I'm just struggling with three hundred thousand for five percent. It's a six million dollar valuation. It, it's not worth six million dollars. Not yet. even close. Yeah, that's the problem. So. With uh, Here's the thing, Kevin. Last year, we didn't have a lot of vendors on our platform. But this year, we saw the flywheel take off when we added 700 vendors to our platform, which brought in 60% of our customers. Look, there's definitely something there. Yeah, but, I agree. Uh, I think it's going to be challenging. I don't think it's for me. I'm out. Okay. Because I think okay. you've, got, you've got a hard road. Right now, you're in seven markets doing 250K. And I'm not saying you'll stay there. But being in seven markets with that few, that little volume, one little screw up at any point in time, and you guys are scrambling, and that makes the whole thing hard. When yes. you get a network effect, you're set, but you're yes. not close to that yet. Yes, and the reason we're so not for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Vermessa, your energy is fabulous. Yep. You're like the 
you're like a spark plug. Some good energy. I think it's a business you got to grind. Really keep grinding, keep grinding a slow growth business. I don't think there's room for a shark. So for those reasons about. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Your business, it's solid, um, but you're very early on. I just like things to be a little more further along. So for those reasons, I'm out, but I do wish Thank you good you. luck. Uh, I'm uh, looking good. I'm very impressed with your presentation, but I'm already in this space. Um, the honey I, fun. I wish you the best, but this one's not for me. Thank you. Thank uh, you. But I'm out. Thank you, Kevin. Thank good you luck, guys. Great Congrats job. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man, this was a it was a quick one. I let it play. Uh, and it seems like kind of razor thin margins there. If you were making kind of one point. Two million dollars or eight hundred thousand, whatever they were making, and you're only taking home sixty thousand dollars at the end of the day. And as one of the sharks said, it seems like it's going to be a grind. It's going to continue to be the grind, and you have little room for error. Which, uh, man, we we we'll see. I, I would say that the young, the, the ladies, her, she had amazing, an amazing personality, an upbeat, a personality, which I love. I'll try to get these two on a, on a, on a program here and, uh, kind of ask them a little bit more about it. I also do like the husband and wife couple. Uh, I, I like, you know, when the husband and wife start a company and kind of really grind through it, uh, it seems like they may have some challenges ahead, at least according to the sharks. Uh, I, again, Lori, she didn't ask about the patents and it seems like the, all the other sharks, they just kind of understood the uphill battle. So they probably didn't drill down as much as they would like to. Let's, let's take a look at the website though, to see if, uh, they are protecting their IP on this thing fully. It's crazy that you have your first uh, Shark Tank wedding. Uh, so let's go up to the top here. Seems like they're using Webfully as a brand name. However, I'm not seeing the R in the circle or, or the TM in the circle to let, you know, for that matter. So I, I would like to, if it's not a registered trademark, I would like to at least see that they have a TM in a circle just to show people that they're using it as a, a, a trademark term, but they don't have that. I didn't know Kevin was a what's name. I'm still, uh, that's crazy to think that. Let's see here. It seems like they uh, kind of been on some news platforms, which is cool. Carefully. I'm not maybe this was beforehand because I didn't see this lady at all. It seems like the name is still the same wayfully as seen on Shark Tank. Is this a different one? That's interesting. I, I didn't see her. Huh. No, this is yeah, this is a different one. That's why. Let me see here. Let me check this out because maybe it seemed like this is an older episode because it had Damon John on there. Uh, let's see if we can go to Shark Tank and pull up the actual website because that seemed like that's uh, that's not a uh, thing, man. We have a wedding app. It seems like it's uh, a weddy, not wedfully. Weddy, wedfully is. Definitely close, I, I would say, as far as the name, Shark Tank Weddy. I don't know why they took me to Webfully. Well, it seems like Webfully needs to protect their IP. There we go. This is Weddy. And it seems like they're kind of similar to, to Webfully, which is, again, they don't, they're not, at least, doesn't show that they uh, are protecting it or showing that you they're protecting their IP with the TM or the R in a circle. Here we go. There you go. Uh, I mean, I like the kind of what they're doing with the app, though. You're kind of packaging all that. Hey, my budget is twenty thousand dollars, so they're pairing you with different people in your geographical area to show you uh, who would be good vendors for it, as opposed to you having to do that on your own. Seems like for the owners, though, it's not a whole lot of money coming in. We're not them because we thought it was Pam too. Shark Tank producer. Oh, okay, whatever. They're talking about Shark Tank. So I'll try to get them on 
It doesn't seem like they're, I'm not sure if it's protected or not. Financials. On Shark Tank, we, we has initially projected 1.2 in 2023. Uh, but close the year, strong with 1.4 in gross revenue. So it seems like they made more than what they were anticipating last year in 2023. I would imagine this Shark Tank will uh, take them through the roof here. Seems like they got some investments here. Ah, yeah, I'm not seeing anything about their IP on here. Our story, get the app testimonials. So for whatever that's worth, kind of take this out here. Here's on it. Seems like uh, I'm not seeing anything about the IP on it. But let me know what you guys think. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. It seems like, like I said, I wanted to let that one play because it seems like Kind of based on the numbers, things kind of went in, in the growth, in the margins. It seemed like things went downhill with the Sharks to the extent that they really weren't all that uh, interested in it. But let me know, you guys, uh, man, we all know the wedding industry is a big market. It seems like they are providing or they are kind of different than what's out there for the most part. And I mean, I, I do think they'll continue to grow their sales. Now, I guess, can they grow with their take their take home? Again, you're talking about a $6 million valuation when, I mean, you did $1 million, but your take home was nowhere close to that. So, I mean, I guess it's interesting. I'll try to have them on a the platform. Let me know, is this something that you would use to get married? Clearly, who knew Kevin was ordained? And we had, you know, we seen, at least we seen the first Shark Tank wedding on this thing. So, uh, until next time, until the next breakdown, Shark Tank episode, I'm out.